Gentlemen, let's have a candid and honest conversation today in a space of complete trust. If you're a man navigating life in your 50s, 60s, 70s, or beyond, and you engage in self-pleasure, I need to ask you something. Have you ever found yourself quietly wondering if it's still healthy? Or perhaps, have you carried a silent worry, am I harming my hormones? Could this be damaging my prostate? Is this practice somehow weakening me as a man? If any of those questions have ever crossed your mind, I want to assure you of this, you are far from alone. This is one of the most common, yet least talked about, concerns I hear from my patients in the privacy of my clinic. The unfortunate truth is that most men are left in the dark on this topic, surrounded by a fog of myths, outdated cultural beliefs, and a profound lack of clear, reliable medical information. But today, we are going to change that, because when you strip away the layers of shame and societal noise, modern medical science paints a very reassuring and, frankly, a surprisingly empowering picture of this deeply personal practice. Before we dive in, please take a moment to connect with our community. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from today. I find it incredibly encouraging to see just how far our men's health network reaches. And while you're there, a simple click on the like and subscribe buttons helps us immensely. That small action allows us to continue bringing you these honest, stigma-free health conversations. Now, let's address the central myth. It's a story many of us were told in one form or another that masturbation is an unhealthy habit that weakens a man, drains his vital energy, or ruins his hormones, especially after a certain age. You've likely heard these warnings whispered in locker rooms, passed down through old-fashioned teachings, or read them in questionable online forums. But here is the clinical truth modern science says otherwise. Self-pleasure is not a guilty habit reserved for the young. In fact, for men navigating their later years, it can be one of the most natural, protective, and even therapeutic health practices available. That said, like any activity, the health impact depends entirely on how you approach it. When done with awareness, moderation, and self-respect, it can significantly boost your health. When done compulsively or without thought, it can carry risks. So today, I am going to walk you through both sides of the coin. We will explore the 10 surprising benefits that science has uncovered, and then we will discuss the 10 potential risks you need to be aware of to ensure the practice remains a healthy part of your life. By the end of our conversation, you will not only know the truth, but you will also have a clear, actionable plan for protecting both your prostate and your peace of mind. For those of you who are new here, my name is Dr. Diana Lin. I am a board-certified urologist and a certified sexologist. For over a decade, my practice has been dedicated to helping men over 50 protect their prostate health, deepen their intimacy, and restore their confidence. I cannot tell you how many accomplished, intelligent men have sat across from me, lowering their voice to a whisper to ask, Doctor, be honest with me. At my age, is it still okay? And every single time, I give them the same answer, you deserve real science-based information. Not fear, not shame, and not half-truths. So, let's get into it. The 10 surprising health benefits. Here are 10 benefits of healthy masturbation that may surprise you. And I'll give you a heads up. The last one is a benefit that almost no one talks about, but it is absolutely crucial for staying mentally sharp as you age. One, it maintains penile health. Think of this as essential physical therapy for your penis. Biologically, every erection, whether with a partner or solo, pumps fresh, oxygen-rich blood into the spongy erectile tissues. This regular blood flow is vital for keeping those tissues flexible and healthy, helping to prevent a condition called fibrosis or the hardening of tissue. Emotionally, this practice preserves confidence. Knowing that your body is still responsive provides a deep sense of dignity and integrity. It's the reassurance that the machinery is being well maintained. Two, it supports prostate health. This is one of the most significant benefits. Biologically, a landmark Harvard study found that men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had a significantly lower risk of developing prostate cancer. The prevailing theory, known as the prostate stagnation hypothesis, suggests that ejaculation helps flush out old seminal fluid potential carcinogens and inflammatory substances from the prostate's delicate ducts. Emotionally, this knowledge is incredibly empowering. It replaces a vague fear of doing harm with the confidence that you are actively participating in a protective health behavior. Three, it strengthens the pelvic floor. Biologically, the rhythmic muscle contractions that occur during orgasm are an involuntary workout for your entire pelvic floor. A stronger pelvic floor provides better support for your bladder and rectum, leading to improved ejaculatory control and a reduced risk of incontinence. 
Practically, it's a free, but an exercise regimen with benefits that extend far beyond the bedroom, contributing to core stability and confidence. Four, it lowers stress hormones. Biologically, orgasm triggers a significant drop in cortisol, the body's primary stress hormone. Chronically high cortisol is linked to high blood pressure, heart disease, and anxiety. Emotionally, this physiological calming effect can be the difference between lying awake at night with a racing mind and drifting into a peaceful, restorative sleep. It is a natural reset button for your nervous system. 5. It boosts mood-enhancing brain chemicals. Biologically at climax, your brain is flooded with dopamine, the neurotransmitter of pleasure and reward and oxytocin, often called the bonding hormone. This neurochemical cocktail creates a powerful, natural antidepressant effect. Emotionally, this mood lift isn't fleeting. It can translate into more patience, more positivity, and a greater sense of well-being that you carry into your day and your relationships. 6. It improves body awareness. Biologically, through the simple act of regular self-touch, you become intimately familiar with your own anatomy. This creates a baseline of what is normal for you. Practically, this self-awareness is a powerful tool for early disease detection. Many cases of testicular cancer or Pyrenees disease as penile curvatured are caught early by men who simply noticed a change because they were familiar with their own body. 7. It enhances sleep quality. Biologically, the post-orgasm hormonal state, a combination of rising oxytocin and prolactin and falling cortisol, is the perfect natural recipe for deep, restorative sleep. Practically, for the many older men who struggle with insomnia or fragmented sleep, this can be one of the safest and most effective natural sleep aids available. 8. It improves overall pelvic circulation. Biologically, beyond just the penis, the entire pelvic region benefits from the increased blood flow stimulated by arousal and orgasm. This helps nourish prostate tissue, support bladder health, and reduce issues related to circulatory stagnation. 9. It can train ejaculatory control. Biologically, for men who struggle with premature ejaculation, solo practice is a safe, pressure-free environment to learn techniques like the stop-start method. This builds a stronger mind-body connection and a better awareness of your own arousal patterns. Practically, the skills and confidence built alone can translate directly to more satisfying and less anxious experiences with a partner. 10. It keeps the pathways of desire active. Biologically, your brain is your largest sex organ. Regular sexual stimulation, even solo, keeps the neural circuits responsible for arousal and desire firing. It's a form of neurological maintenance. Emotionally, this protects your sense of self as a vital sexual being, which is a core part of masculine identity for many men. It ensures that even during periods without a partner, your capacity for desire doesn't simply fade away. So those are the benefits, and they are quite compelling. But as I said, a healthy life is about balance. Now, let's flip the coin and discuss the potential risks, not to create fear, but to foster awareness. The 10 potential risks to watch for one, social isolation zine, if self-pleasure becomes a substitute for, rather than a supplement to real human intimacy, it can lead to withdrawal. The fix is mindfulness. Ensure it complements your life, not replaces it. Two, skin irritation, too much friction, especially without lubrication, can cause micro tears, chafing, and inflammation. The fix is simple. Always use a high-quality water-based lubricant. Treat your skin with care. Three, desensitization or death grip. Using the exact same grip, pressure, and rhythm every single time can train your brain to respond only to that specific stimulation, making partnered sex feel less intense. The fix variety. Consciously change your technique, rhythm, and location. Four, masking underlying erectile dysfunction. If you can achieve a firm erection alone but consistently struggle with a partner, it could be a red flag for an underlying medical issue like vascular disease, diabetes, or low testosterone. Don't ignore this sign. See your doctor. 5. Nerve compression poor posture during masturbation, like hunching over, can compress the pudendal nerve in the pelvis, potentially leading to numbness or pain over time. The fix. Practice in a relaxed, well-supported position. 6. Emotional escapism. If it becomes your only tool for coping with stress, loneliness, or boredom, it can create a dependency. The fix. Cultivate a diverse toolkit for emotional regulation that includes exercise, meditation, social connection. 7. Unresolved guilt and shame. Many men were raised with powerful cultural or religious messages that this practice is wrong or sinful. If that guilt persists, it can cause significant psychological distress. The fix consider speaking with a qualified, sex-positive therapist to help heal these old wounds. 
8. Pelvic congestion while infrequent ejaculation is a risk. Excessive frequency multiple times a day for extended periods can sometimes lead to a dull H or feeling of heaviness in the pelvis. The fix, listen to your body. Moderation is your guide. 9. Short-term semen quality reduction. This is only relevant for men actively trying to conceive. Ejaculating daily can temporarily lower sperm concentration. The FIC studies suggest two to five days of abstinence typically yield optimal semen quality for conception. 10. Disconnection from reality. If your arousal is exclusively dependent on extreme online pornography, your brain can become conditioned in ways that make real-life nuanced intimacy seem boring or difficult. The FIC Consciously limit porn consumption and focus on imagination, memory, and physical sensation. Your action plan, so here is your blueprint for a healthy practice. Keep it regular, but moderate. Listen to your body's rhythms. Always use lubricant. Protect your skin. Practice with variety. Don't let your brain get stuck in one pattern. Pay attention to posture. Protect your nerves. And most importantly, never let it be a substitute for the profound fulfillment of human connection. Think of it as a tool in your wellness toolkit. Like any tool, it can build and maintain, or it can cause harm, depending entirely on the wisdom and awareness of the user. Gentlemen, I know this is a deeply personal subject, but let me leave you with this final thought. There is nothing shameful about your body or about the practice of keeping it healthy and functional. Science is on your side, your prostate, your hormones, and your mood all stand to benefit when you approach this aspect of your life with consciousness and self-respect. Age does not mean the end of vitality. In fact, it can be the beginning of wisdom, the stage where you finally let go of damaging myths and embrace what truly serves your health. Masturbation, practiced with awareness, is not a sign of weakness. It is an act of maintenance. It is a form of self-respect, and it is a pillar of quiet confidence. I'm Dr. Ger Diana Lynn, reminding you that your worth is defined not by age or outdated shame, but by the conscious care you show yourself. Stay strong, stay confident, and be well.